Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and it might sound a little bit different. I'm wearing headphones, so my screen capture isn't so echoey like it has been for the last two years. First off, I want to show some awesome uh, fan art of <laughs> Devil Dog. I actually really love this uh, this uh, mask design. Uh, I designed the original costume, and everyone kind of draws it however they feel like it. <laughs> I feel like he probably has multiple different versions of his uh, armor, uh, but I would say that this one is uh, my favorite. And then we got uh, somebody uh, sent me a picture of um, books I've made and recommended and have no relationship to at all. Uh, <laughs> so I recommend Berserk and uh, Planet Hulk. I've made Iron Sights 1 and Jawbreakers, Lost Souls and Jawbreakers God King. I really have nothing at all to do with Crisis on Infinite Earths. Uh, this is a wooden table. Uh, I'm not sure of his status. I've, I've said from seeing you know a couple hundred photos sent in by customers that I seem to be very, very big in the wood uh, and tile floor communities. Uh, I seem to be not that big in the carpet households of, uh, of America. So I'm not sure what this is. This could be a carpeted household. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so the new Birds of Prey trailer came out, and I know that because somebody mentioned it, and then I Googled it and found one from a month ago that said it was new, that was just uploaded today, which was the old one in 4K, but it was the old one. So then I said, okay, whatever, I got a bum scoop. And then five minutes later, I said, someone else said, are you going to review the new Birds of Prey trailer? And then... I don't know how I can find it easily the second time. Oh, I put the word new in front of it instead of putting Birds of Tra Prey trailer and then searching by the last 24 hours. But anyway, um, so this is the uh, official trailer number two. Um, is this on the Warner? Yeah, Warner Brothers. Uh, so the first one I did not like. Um, I think this movie has a potential not to be a flop. Nothing superhero related is going to flop except for the New Mutants movie. Um, uh, but uh, under, let's, let's say underperform. Uh, it seemed obsessed with gender politics, uh, this weird current yearism where in a visual medium you cast average or below average looking women to play superheroes. Yeah, why not? Um, and then they hired a woman who had, who had effectively almost no experience. She had one feature film that was released, I believe, solely in China and made something ridiculous like $60,000. It just looked like a complete SJW political correctness shit show. Uh, the main trailer was mainly just really boring. Um, so I haven't watched this one. I know it says 16 seconds, but I was just testing out the screen capture. So this is my first uh, time Hate it. Worst thing ever. I'm going to make 53 videos about this in the next three days. Can I help you? Why, yes. Yes, you can. I'm here to report a terrible crime. And what? So I bring up visual medium and uh, people being physically attractive a lot because being very beautiful gets terrible you stuff crime is like that. this. This is a pretty cheesy scene. Um, shot flatly like some you know filmed in Calgary TV show and yet since the lead actress is incredibly beautiful I'm sticking around this one ah oh, shit I told this all wrong quick history lesson wait she just shot a beanbag didn't she used to date a serial killer this all started when the she's literally being nerfed well beanbagged actually actually let's say nerfed because beanbag could be something else joker and i broke up it was completely mutual and soon enough i was back on my feet ready to embrace the fierce goddess within mm. okay she's wearing cat pajamas and she's like 35 eh, i'll allow it since she's crazy It's oh. Is this food humor? This is food. This is food humor. So quiet. Now that I cut ties with Mr. J, I'm about to learn that a lot of people You're want me dead. All alone. And at the top of that list is this guy. I'm so peaceful. I, this is almost one minute <laughs> into. I mean, yes, she's a villain, but this is a superhero, very famous superhero, and it just. It seems so eventual, just like, uh, yeah, okay, so we're doing a 
Uh, we're doing a Harley Quinn movie. It's, you know, Birds of Prey, but it's, Harley, it's a Harley Quinn movie. So uh, why is it called Birds of Prey if it's clearly a Harley Quinn movie? We're a minute in and we haven't seen the Birds of Prey. But it turns out... <laughs> that wasn't the only dame in Gotham looking for emancipation. That emancipation thing is so damn <laughs> annoying and stupid. You're a crazy person who just does things because you feel like it. Don't talk about, like, people's rights. You fall in love. <laughs> He's after all of us. The kid just robbed him. That's supposed to be uh, Cassandra Cain from what I've heard. You betrayed him. You killed his BFF. <laughs> what? You are so cool. Oh, God. Why? Why does everything with women have to be them constantly complimenting each other? Best frenzies. You never and you're dumb enough to be building a case against him. So, unless we all want to die very unpleasant death, we're going to have to work together. Um, you're women? You are already going to work together? You're all friends? Duh? Sure. Oh, cool. That was... Who was that? That was the Huntress? The Huntress talks like some kind of snotty graduate student. At least she didn't say whatever. I gotta say, visually, this one is looking a lot better and more stylish than the first one. This trailer. And we're getting a black mask, black mask. They didn't subvert, you know expectations and make it a white hat why does the black mask have to be a black mask can it be a white hat or a white suitcase carrying a black mask daddy never wears it's always painful when not clever people try to be clever <laughs> so supposedly uh all of the action scenes were either reshot or just entirely handled by um, one of the guys who worked on the John Wick movies, this is not entirely without precedent. Uh, Louis Leterrier, or whatever you say his name, he did, uh, I think the first two Transporter movies, and he just directed the non-action sequences. Okay, so you know how earlier I was saying this is going to be like the first flop of, or dud of like the superhero major era of the last 10 years? I'm taking that back. This is looking solidly good. Um, and for a normie, this looks like above average. Again, uh, normies have much higher tolerances for SJW content because they didn't do 2,300 YouTube videos talking about it. Psychologically speaking, vengeance rarely brings the catharsis we hope for. Yeah. Are we ready? You blow up! Okay, so they emphasized the, you know, the stupid outfits in the earlier one, but while this one is kind of stupid, she's at least showing some legs, and she's really pretty. So the male gaze will be satiated, unfortunately, SJWs. Wait, is she, is she shooting confetti at people, or are they turning into confetti after she shoots them with a freaking grenade? I mean, technically, that's actually what happens when you shoot someone with a grenade launcher, but it's mainly just... All the same color okay casting her as cassandra kane is absolutely insane yeah that yeah you guys totally captured cassandra kane to a t yeah absolutely a freaking mute ninja and you you so you cast some disney sitcom sidekick perfect perfect I got some grad student as Huntress. Okay, I'm flip flopping. I don't know. Now I'm now I'm getting talked out of it. So many emotions. Turn it up. Honestly, this is looking pretty good right here. <laughs> The subtitle is so freaking cringy. 
I under okay. So I was gonna say I understand how you you feel the need to work Harley Quinn's name into the title, but you didn't even show the Birds of Prey till the second half. Just call it Harley Quinn and the Birds Birds of Prey, not this stupid like fake woke Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Oh God, so bad. Oh shit, is that a hyena in a bathtub? I named him Bruce after that hunky Wayne guy. <laughs> what was it? Is that what hyenas actually look like? I don't think I've ever seen a, a hyena, hyena in real life. Uh, okay, let's. Okay, so I talk over it a lot, but uh, general impress, impression is uh, is good. It seems much improved off of the first one, which was just really boring and flat. I'm wondering if there were major reshoots, not just the, uh, um, not just the action sequence. And I'll show you things that I think are from the original shoot before there was massive reshoots. Right here, terrible. I'm making 57 videos about how this is the worst thing ever. Can I help you? Why, yes, yes, you can. I'm here to report a terrible crime. And what terrible crime is that? This one. That's a beam. Let's see. It's, 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 that's a non-lethal weapon. Ah, oh, shit. I told this all wrong. Quick history. How was there never a straight to freaking VHS ripoff of lethal weapon in the late 80s, early 90s called non-lethal weapon? Duh. Lesson. This all started when the Joker and I broke up. It was completely mutual. That's fine because I think they actually just copied the design from the first Batman movie or the second Batman movie or the third if you count the serials from the 1930s. Whatever, Batman 1989. The colors are great. Freaking love this. And soon enough. That looks freaking awesome. That is like a perfect Harley Quinn shot. I was back on my feet. Ready to embrace the fierce guys. Oh, well, this one. Then. Yeah, there's a rule of cool. There's also the rule of, of hot. There's rules of cool and hot. Yeah, if you're really, really hot and you, you open your mouth that wide, I'll let a lot of stuff slide. Most people will. <laughs> it's oh so quiet. Now that I cut ties with Mr. J, I'm about to learn that. Okay, so stuff like this, I know it's just one shot, it's a daytime, but like all of the scenes from the first trailer are shot like this. There's no filter, there's nothing specifically comic booky. Uh, by the way, I actually know a guy who um, uh, was going to audition for this role right here. That a lot of people want me dead. All alone. And at the top of that list is this guy. So, okay, so this is it where it was like a little flat from the first oh, one. This looks like a TV. This looks like an episode of Arrow. Uh, um, <laughs> that became a, a huge insult in the last few years. That used to be a compliment. You know, first season, this looks like a scene from Arrow. But it turns out. <laughs> yes, she's cute and she's pretty and she makes funny faces. And yeah, a couple other things. Yeah, that's it. That wasn't the only Damon Gotham looking for emancipation. You fall in love. Those are a couple pretty simple. Okay, so this is again kind of like this looks just like flat TV lighting. No, that's that's from the first version. He's after all of us. The kid just robbed him. You betrayed him. You killed his BFF. This is actually looking pretty darn cool. These parts. What? You are so cool. Yeah. You never. That's never gonna be stopped. There's that's never gonna stop being painful. It's a cliche, but it's still true. Most women hate each other. The, the idea that in pop culture and comics and movies and TV, women are all best friends. These half of them are lesbians and are always complimenting each other. No, no, no. I was, I, I, I had to. Uh, I was catching up on. Uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia, and I had to buy the the most current season, which is totally worth it. And they're doing uh they're doing focus testing for Thunder Gun, the latest Thunder Gun movie. And like the the focus tester woman is is talking to D. She's like, "You're a woman, don't you like women?" And she's like, "No, no, I liked when they used to die, or they used to be uglier than me." <laughs> like she's like, "These women are smarter and prettier than me, and then they live." This is a real problem for me. Enough to be building a case against him. So unless we all that looks cool, black mask looks cool. Want to die? Very. 
the unpleasant death. We're gonna have to work together. Sure. Oh, yeah, that is not a huntress. <laughs> what is with casting this freaking grad student looking woman as a badass? She was just in Gemini Man. Uh, who, who was she was able to fight as good as Will Smith, who's supposed to be like one of the greatest secret ag agents ever. Like, how, how is she in freaking action movies? Yeah, this is working. This is totally working. Did they establish Harley Quinn as having like superhuman strength and agility in? in uh, uh, Suicide Squad, because I think they did, like a side effect of her poison or whatever. Psychologically speaking, vengeance rarely brings the catharsis we hope for. Yeah. Are we ready? You blow up, you Turn it up! Uh, I like this bit. Um, you got Black Canary. Singing like a canary, and then uh, this is a good stylish shot. I really like. It. Woo! Turn it up. See, do you see the martini shaking from the you know her superpower? Oh gosh, there's roller derby. What is this? Two thousand and eight. I think Cassandra Cain is supposed to be like the normal girl, you know, like the normal, like the, the, it's like an entry into the story as they do that a lot, but just make her a new character. Like this is so far away from being Cassandra Cain besides her being female and Asian. It's com essentially a completely new character. <laughs> that was, that's worth, you don't have to have a whole bunch of effects. You just do a bird's eye view of a stunt woman in a cool stunt with some glass break. <laughs> That was freaking cool. Oh, that's a uh, black, yeah, black canary. Are they really gonna call her black canary when they when she's black? Is she just she's probably just called canary, right? Yeah, I'm guessing she's just called canary. Yeah, rule of cool and hot. She does cool things and she's hot, so I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> that subtitle has to go. Oh shit! Is that a hyena in a bathtub? Named him Bruce after that hunky Wayne guy. <laughs> I, I really need to, to, someone to tell me if if hy, hyenas actually look like that in real life. That looks like a, a cartoon. All right, with, with February twenty twenty. What <laughs> this thing comes out? Everything's sneaking up on me this year, except for the trial. We just got the date for the trial. It's April of next year. Uh, but I just realized we're having a presidential election in like ten months. Bad Boys for Life comes out in like a week, and Harley Quinn. I'm just I'm just calling this movie Harley Quinn. Um, Freaking, I wouldn't say it looks awesome, but I was gonna I was just gonna see it for just for cringe, and now I'm like, yeah, I think it might be salvageable. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone given to the uh, GoFundMe and the Indiegogo. Especially for the GoFundMe. We got a long trail ahead of us. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm, I'm actually kind of uh, got way more content than I need. So I'm, I've got stuff recorded and I'm rearranging it. This is going to go up right away right after I uh, uh, record it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.